Okay, we're ready to play again. A little bit about uh, tomorrow already. I, you know, I want you to save for this one, obviously, but Bloomington Jefferson, obviously a squad you guys know well. Yeah, we do. Uh, we've been playing them all the way up. It's always been a great game, so we're expecting a good one tomorrow. What did Coach have to say in between periods to you guys today? Obviously, you wanted to have a little better defense as the game was going on. Yeah, it was basically just go out and play our game and we'll be okay. So that's what we did, and we did it on top. Right. Thanks, Reese. Thank you very much. Good luck. Check, check. Nick, let's let's start off with how, how you feeling. Obviously, it was a key it was a key shot you blocked. So I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna block a shot, that's a good one. Well, I would like to block it and get off the ice, but I tried getting up and I just shooting pain shot out my leg and. Uh, couldn't quite get up, and I was waiting for the whistle, and there's no whistle. And I said, God, the refs are going to do it again. They've kind of been honest the whole game, but it was just something we had to play with. Are you going to be able to go tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be ready. Uh, at first, I didn't know. I thought I might have broken it because it hurt so bad, but now it's just kind of numbed out a little bit, and I think my foot's about ready to explode. But uh, we'll be ready, and I can't wait to get back to the hotel to have a sun and a little whirlpool if Coach will let us. Absolutely no power plays. That had to be frustrating for you guys. Oh, it was frustrating, but we knew we were going to come down here, and everybody was going to be gunning for us. We uh, we expected it to be a tough battle, and uh, that just kind of made it a little harder, but uh, it's just something we had to play with. Finally, Bloomington Jefferson, hey, a team you guys know real well, right? Bloomington Jefferson's got a great team. they got a really high-powered offense, and we got to stop their number one line, and they got a few key players that we have to shut down. Thanks, Dick. Thank you very much. Go get recovered. Let's start off with, uh, I mean, Nick's, Nick's down there in pain. Game continues. Obviously, uh, you know, it comes down to save by Adam. And uh, you didn't have this one until the end. No, we didn't. Uh, I, I'm really proud of the kids. Uh, they showed a lot of character at the end, kept their poise, and uh, did a heck of a job of killing the number of penalties we, or the number of power plays we had to kill off. I know you've won a lot of games this year. Have you never had a power play this year? I mean, when's the last time that's happened? Coach? No, we never had a game where we ne didn't have a power play. And uh, we think we have a pretty good power play, and we worked on it all week, but unfortunately we haven't used it yet. Obviously they scored a couple goals. They got past the D. They threw the puck past it and just used their speed. Yeah, they're a very dangerous team, and they don't need many chances, as they showed tonight. And they got their two most dangerous players behind our D, and they buried it. And third goal was an, a de deflection, and uh, Cool didn't have a chance on any of them. But, again, uh, the kids came out and played an excellent third period. Tomorrow, Jefferson, I know you want to savor this one a little while, but the uh, team you know well, right? We don't know them very well, but uh, it should be a great game. I don't really talk about it. Yeah. You don't know them. <laughs> obviously obviously well coached, right? <laughs> They're very well coached. Can Nick, uh, Nick status? I mean, will he be able to get some ice on? What do you think? He, say, he says he's going to go. He looks all right. <laughs> He'll be all right. Thank you. Adam, they, they kept you busy. Uh, well, I'll let Nick go by here. So much for an easy game. You know here at State, Adam, at this point, you have to play three total periods, but uh, went right down the last second this one, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, kinda, I felt I kind of let my team down in the first two periods. It seemed like every chance Hastings was getting there, bearing them. I mean, you know, I'm not used to that. I've had a decent year, and... You know, I just kind of got down on myself in the second and third and told myself, no more. i got to start coming up big. And fortunately, at the end there, I made a big one. Well, that's what it was. The defense of not only your team, but look what Nick did. He, he took one for the team there right at the end, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, Nick's he's a great player. And, you know, I'm more confident with him in front of me. And we're just pumped because we got it done. And now it's on to Jefferson. Talk a little bit about Jefferson. Obviously, you guys have had some great games over the years. Uh, you, you know their players very well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've hung out with a lot of their players in the summer. I mean, I think we even TV houses together. And, uh, I probably shouldn't say that on air. But, uh, you know, it's, it's going to have to put the friendship away for a side and, you know, play the game. I mean, it's going to be a great game. Adam, congratulations. Thank you. All right. See you tomorrow. Awesome game. Thank you. Awesome game. Hey, let's start off with the fact that uh, uh, you're looking at All-Northern uh, final here. That's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we want to come out flying tomorrow and get another shot at Hermantown. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch this game. I think both the teams are going to come out flying. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of fun down here, man. I can't even tell you how much how great it is to be down here. You thrive on that stuff, don't you? Oh, I love it. I, it's the best experience in your life. I've never been so proud of anything I've done in my entire life.
How about the fans? Awesome, huh? Oh, we got great fans. We've been selling out buildings since the last half of the year. We've been selling out buildings that have never been sold out in years and years. Uh, Greenway, we almost took up the whole building, you know, and it's great when you got a town behind you like that. Your whole community's backing you. Got a lot of heart in the locker room, and we just want to come out and play tough. You got anything left in the gas tank? It looks like uh, you, you've used it all up so far. I'm running on empty right now. I'm going to take it easy tonight. Enjoy this. Savor it. It's just great down here, you know. It's awesome, you know. I don't want to damp or anything, but where would you like to be next year? I mean, uh, push come to shove, where would you like to be playing? Well, I'd love to play, you know, any Minnesota. Minnesota <laughs> oh, I'd love to go there. There's a lot of Evelyn people that have played there. Uh, UMD, I just want to play Division One. Hopefully, uh, you know, someone will take a look. It's hard to... You play uh, single A your whole life, and everyone thinks that the double A teams are all that. But you know, we come out and play with a lot of heart. It doesn't matter how many uh, people are in your town. It's what what's going on in the locker room and between the guys. We came to realize that this year. Hey, congratulations! Awesome game. Thank you, man. We'll see you later. See you tomorrow. All right. Ready? Hey, uh, let's start with uh, gonna be all Northern final. It's gonna be a lot of fun, huh? Really a lot of fun. Really a lot of fun. Uh, Herman Town played uh, one heck of a hockey game today, and. Uh, we got by, we played pretty well, uh, we can do a few things better, but it should be fun. Evelyn and Herman Town in the finals. Somebody told you that at the start of the year, would you have believed it? <laughs> I would have. Everybody else in the state probably wouldn't have. Uh, probably the people down here wouldn't have, but uh, we're happy to be there. How about Pete, the uh, unbelievable game? Pete, Pete's been on a little bit of a roll. Pete's been on a roll, he played very well again tonight, and uh, about the last uh, six weeks he's just played excellent. Super, thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, you did. Definitely. <laughs> Steve, we got to start with uh, the goaltending you guys got today. Unbelievable. But you know that better than anybody because you've been playing with him all year. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been playing with him since I was little, and he's probably one of the best goalies I've been around that I've seen. It's nice to have him back there. Tell us about the game. I mean, early on, there wasn't a lot of scoring in this one. No, I mean, all we did was go out. The first period, we didn't work as hard as we wanted to, but, I mean, they didn't get a goal, so we were pretty happy. Second period, we came out a little harder and got two quick ones, so nice to get up by two goals. And then the third period, we just, uh, they got one, and then we came right back and got another one, so we pretty much had the momentum the rest of the way through the game. It was nice. Steve, so talking about tomorrow, obviously, an all-Northern final, that's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's great. We, I mean, we saw Hermantown beat or Red Wing. We were cheering for Hermantown the whole time, and, it's great, great to see them beat them. Now we got to play them, and they got a good club, so hopefully we can take them. Earlier in the year, they beat, they got you by one, but uh, what a better chance to, to get a little revenge tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, it'd be great to beat them in the state final. Be <coughs> best feeling ever. Steve, how about the fan support here for Evel? Awesome, huh? Oh, they, they've been great all year long. I mean, we, had, we didn't do so well for the middle part of the year, lost six in a row, but ever since then, I mean, even through there, they were great for us. But. Now they're even, they just keep getting, we keep getting more and more fans. It's great. And you got the girls basketball team. They're a win away from state too tonight. Yeah, we keep, I mean, we call them up, make sure we're trying to see how they do and just keep wishing them good luck. We hope to see them down there. All right. So we'll be back next week. Thank you very much. Thanks. Good job, Steve. Well, you know, we knew we had you know, some sprinkled with talent, and we knew there was a lot of heart on the team, but um, no, we didn't think 19 in a row in a state championship. Uh, we, were, we were trying to get our, our next win, is what we were looking for, and, uh, you know, trying to get a, a consistent effort every night, and uh, finally we, we started getting it, but, you know, we've won in so many different ways in those 19 games that um, you can't imagine. <clears throat> How is this game compared to the earlier meeting between you uh, between the I think it was much more evenly uh, matched this game. Uh, the first time we met them, we actually, uh, they kind of dominated us the first period, and we all played them, you know, quite badly, I thought, the, the second half of the game. Uh, this one seemed to be pretty even all the way through. Kids certainly uh, really get up and fight back without uh, getting like the penalties over there. So big time hits out there. Yeah, they're, you know, we, we can't retaliate. You know, that's that's our, our game. And unfortunately, I know the referees are here are going to uh, let the kids play. We understand that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, you know, it's tough because it's usually part, a big part of our game is uh, 
where teams do take a lot of penalties against us and we're able to uh, capitalize on the power play. But we didn't, uh, neither team had one today. So. Do you get concerned when uh, the official decides to let the teams play, especially when you have some of those uh, large... Well, we're, we're, we're just concerned that we don't get anybody injured. Uh, we're not concerned as, as far as playing the game. Uh, these kids, like I said, are tough. Uh, there's, <laughs> they don't back down from anybody. And like I said, uh, teams that play real physical against us, we seem to respond. And, uh, and uh, we play a little bit stronger. Thank you. How about the support? I mean, I don't know if there's anybody back at home here. You had no outstanding support. Too. No, there's not many people back there. So uh, they, the support has been awesome, but it's been this way since uh, mid-January. It's been, uh, we went over to Hibbing and played for the IRC Championship. We had more people than they did in Hibbing that night. Uh, I know Hibbing had a lot of other activities going on, but we had a, we had a great following all the way through. But, uh, it's been a real exciting, uh, an unbelievable ride for our kids, and we're really proud of them. That's great. What's this mean with the connection to the uh, transition? First off, uh, congratulations. An awesome performance by you guys today, wasn't it? Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, we started out a little bit slow, but we picked it up and we came out the win. How are you? I mean, you look banged up, cut up, so the whole team took a, took a shot today. Yeah, it, it's worth it. Uh, it's worth the pain. There's not much pain right now because <laughs> we won the state tournament. <laughs> Coach was obviously preaching not retaliate, not retaliate, and obviously work in your favor. I mean, it was so physical out there, but your guys were falling left and right, but you guys didn't panic. Yeah, our coach just said uh, work through all them sticks and checks, and we'll hopefully come out with the victory if we can do that. You're in your own place in uh, Elwood Hockey history here, aren't you, today? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> How about the fan support here? I mean, uh, I don't know if there's anybody left in town, was there? Yeah, I don't think so either. Our fans have been supporting us like this all year. It's just great. We've had fan support like this all year. It's wonderful. A couple goals today. Do you ever, do you ever dream that? Do you ever think that was going to happen? <laughs> I didn't think it would. It's just the dream. It's like a dream right now. I'm, I just don't want to wake up, you know? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Nice job up there. Thanks. Yeah. Power. I knew that if I just stayed in there and don't lose my focus, that we'd come back and get another couple goals. Talk a little bit about the pressure. Once you're up 3-2, you it's up to you to hang on to a one-goal lead in the championship game. <laughs> well, I'm used to the pressure. Our section finals are playing our arch rivals, and it was a close game like that, 3-2. So all I, all I knew was just keep my guard up and keep focused, and uh, good things would happen. Abilith is as a tradition-rich hockey community as there is in the state of Minnesota. Talk a little bit about what this is going to mean back home. Boy, it's going to mean a lot. I Hopefully those young kids that are watching now will carry on that tradition and uh, see us come down here and play with heart like that. And uh, now they'll have dreams like I did when I was a kid. Just a dream come true for you? Dream come true. Congratulations. Thank you. Pete, you guys showed so much patience out there. I mean, it was a, your, your teammates were dropping like flies at a point out there and it had to be frustrating for you guys. Well, uh, we knew they were going to come out and play the body on us, so all we wanted to do is just uh, use our feet and get moving. And... Uh, they got to us a little at the first period, but we came out firing in the second and third. What was it like out there? You were having fun. It looked like it from the start to the end. Well, I love this game. Uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't want to play on any other team but have with Gilbert, you know. I love those guys in that locker room, and I love the coaching staff, and I couldn't be any more proud of us now. I don't think there was anybody else in Neville today, was there? <laughs> no, it's a ghost town, I hear, so hopefully when we get back, it'll be nice to go home. I, I like those towns. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you know, look at the scoreboard and it didn't turn out the way you guys had hoped, but uh, obviously they, they played every, every, I mean, they played as hard as you wanted them to. Yeah, we had a good run, you know, we, we have nothing to be ashamed of. We, we can hold our head high. We, we did everything we, we could do and that was just a little better today. A little bit about, uh, you know, here comes the Zamboni. I don't want to get you run over here. Um, I mean, Pat, you know, spent everything he had. Uh, John was out there. Everybody gave their effort tonight, and they, they didn't leave it out there. And second place isn't anything to, to hold their head down about. I mean, sure they are right now, but overall it's been a fantastic year. We consider ourselves still champions. Uh, you know, we, we, we're not ashamed of anything we've done. And you look in that dressing room in there, and you can tell how hard these kids have worked because they're suffering pretty pretty hard right now. And, you know, it's just something that happens. It's hockey. It's it's the, it's the game itself, and the bonds and relationship these kids have made are, are life lasting, and they'll never forget it. State tournament in football. State tournament in hockey. Baseball starts Monday, so uh, they can make it three for three. Yeah. Hey, don't count the Hawks three. out. I think they'll be there there too. I mean, this group of kids are just a super bunch to work with. They're all coachable. They're all great kids. They all get along, and it's just a dream. It's a dream. It really is. Looking up there in the fan support for the Hawks, uh, outstanding today, and, and I imagine all year for you. We got a great thing going in our hockey program, and this is kind of icing on a cake, and I think you'll only see it get better.
Appreciate your time, sir. Thanks, Tom. Sorry about that. Thank Great. you.